Hey guys, let's try to solve some more HDL bits problems and today we'll look at problems involving Karnau maps and let's look at this problem first. In this problem we have to create a logic that as input gets ABCD and ABCD will uh, represent a binary number so for example 7 will be represented as 0, 1, 1, 1. and if we get 2, 7 or 15 as a binary input, we will output 1. And if we get 0, 1, 4 and all of these numbers, we will output uh, 0. Also, if we get 3, 8 or 11 or 12 on the input, we don't care because in the system this can't happen. So we don't care about the output. It can output 1 or 0. So let's look at how we can solve this problem. We want to get an expression, boolean expression, that will give us the output and we want to get this boolean expression in minimum SOP form. SOP stands for sum of products and we also want to, want to, want to get it in minimum POS form and POS stands for product of sums. Here I have the Karnau map that we will try to fill in and also here I have 2, 7 and 15. These numbers, these inputs will give us as output 1 and here you can see the binary representation of the of the numbers and 3 8 11 12 will give us don't care so it can either output 0 or 1 we don't care and this will be represented by d and now let's try to fill in this Karnau map so 2 is 0 0 for a and b so we can look at the first column here cd is 1 0 that's the last row so I write here 1 so 2 will be the last cell in the first column here 7 is 0 1 and 1 1 so that's this cell 1 1 and 1 1 that's this cell these cells are also called min terms and let's uh, now do D don't care 0, 0, 1, 1, that's here, so I write D, 1, 0, 0, 0, that's here, so I write D here, and 1, 1, 0, 0, that's the cell here. So we have fill in the 1s and Ds, and now I will fill in zeros. 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, in all of the and I think we are missing one D here. And that's this D. So one D here. And the rest will be zeros. And now let's try to create the SOP form. So our output SOP out will be equal to some Boolean expression. And now we have to get it from this Karnau map. So in SOP, we look at 1s and Ds. In POS, we will look at zeros and Ds. So first, let's look at SOP. In SOP, we look at 1s and Ds, and we want to create as, as large circle as possible that will cover, cover all of the cells with the value 1s. And these circles can have uh, size 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. It has to be... Uh, the power of 2 and they have to cover all of the ones so first circle can look like this and the second circle will look like this and using these two circles we cover all of the ones in all of the cells so there are no more ones that will not be included in one of the circles then for each of the circles we look at the input values and we look at the input values that in the circle have both value 0 and 1. So here we can see D as value 1 and 0 and the other A, and A B and C, they all have only one value, only 0 for A and B and only 1 for C. And then we, if it's 0, then we will write not A, not, not B. And if it's 1, then we will write just C. And we will end all of these inputs. So not A, end, not B, end, 
c. So this will be our first uh, expression for the first circle. Not, uh, I will write not like this, and like this, and or like this. So then we or, and we put the next expression here. And the next expression, we can look at that a and b, they both have 0 and 1 in this circle. And 1, uh, c has only 1, and d also changes. So the next one will only, I mean, uh, d doesn't change. So c and d, they both have 1. So the next, so the next uh, expression will be c and d. That's for these two values. And it's, this is uh, the minimum SOP form. So now we have finished SOP form and let's look at POS form. In POS form, I will delete the circles here. I'll delete these circles and let's look at POS form. In POS form, we want to circle zero, zeros and these. So for example, here we can create one circle that has eight min terms. And here we can create two. One will look like this. And the second will look like this. And th these uh, three will give us the minimum POS form. Let's start with the big, the bigger one. In the bigger one, we can look at A and B and we can see they both include 0 and 1, so we don't care about A and B. In C and D, C is 0 and D also changes, so we only care about C and it's not. And if we are dealing with POS, we inverse the output, he uh, the input here. So if input C is 0, we will reverse and it will be just C. It will not be negative C. Then we end this and we write OR for the other uh, expressions. So let's look at this. Uh, let's look at this one now. And this one has 0. Uh, so A changes 0 and 1. B is 1. And here C. Uh, so we can see C changes and D is 0. So, A changes and C changes, so we don't care about them. B has value 1 and D has value 0, so B will be not, B or, and C or D will be is 0, so we write just D. And, and the final one, the final one will have the same value for D. Or, and then here we can look at A and B. A has value 1, B has 1 and 0, so we don't care about B. And A is 1, so we inverse and we write negative A. And these are the final expressions for SOP form and also for POS form. So POS will, is product of sums. And SOP is uh, sum of products. And now let's try to solve it. So first, I will write assign out SOP equals to, and then assign out POS equals to. So out SOP, out SOP is not A and not B and not and C. not a and not b and c or c and d c and d and out pos uh, pos out is c and c and and so here we have not B or D, and here we have not A or D. Not A or D, 
and not B or D, like this. So this is the solution for this uh, problem, and now we can try to submit it. And we can see it was successful. Let's practice one more problem. In this problem, we are given the Karnau map, but we want to find the output. I will do the SOP form in this case. So I will look at ones and these, and I can see that I can do one circle here that will include ones, and also one circle like this. And this is uh, the minimum SOP form of this uh, Karnau map. So let's try to code this now. Uh, assign f equals to, and let's do the first circle that that is here. So we can see that x4 changes here. So x3 is 1, and here x2 changes and x1 is 0. So I will write not x1 and, uh, and x3 x3 or and the second uh, will be the the rectangle in the, in the middle so here we can see that x2 is 1 and x4 is also 1 and x1 and x3 changes so x2 is 1 x4 is 1 x2 and x4 x2 and x4 yes so let's try to submit we got the correct answer and let's look at the final problem here we are also given Carnot map but in this case we are not allowed to use not or end or or gate none of these gates we are allowed to use what we are only allowed to use is 4 to 1 multiplexer and 2 to 1 multiplexers only these two, uh, these two gates, we are, uh, or or combination or circuits, combination circuits, we are only allowed to use these two multiplexers. So let's look at how we can do this. Our task is to create this top module that will have four outputs: MOOCs in zero, MOOCs in one, MOOCs in two, MOOCs in three, and these will be input to another MOOCs that will select which of these four inputs will be outputted. And let's, for example, look at this output here. This output is selected when both of them are zero. That means we care about the values in the first column. If you look at the last one, it's one, one. So we care about the third column and so on. And we will try to uh, fill in all of these outputs and we will look at each of the columns. So let's try to do this first. I will do assign and MOOCs 0 and I will do this for all of the outputs like this and 1, 2 and 3 and 3 is actually switched with 2 so I will switch it like this here because the last one one which is for a and b equal to one both it's the third column here so let's look at the first one the first one if c is equal to one then we select one so how do how, how i will do the two to one multiplexer i will write it in the ternary operator so that means some bullet some expression here if it's true, then we output this one or we output the second one. So the expression in this case will be C. And if C is equal to one, then we output one. So here I will write one. And so binary one. And if it's zero, then we will output D. So if uh, D is zero, we will output 0, and if d is 1, we will output 1. And in this case, we will cover the first column. So I will output d. Let's look at the second column. In this column, we output just 0. So I will just write 
one zero so binary is zero and let's look at this column here we output one only if so we can also do if d if c is one we will output d otherwise zero so if c is one we will output d otherwise zero otherwise zero if c is one we will output d so if d is one we will output one if d is zero we will output zero and if c is zero we will output zero so like this and final one if d is zero we will output one and if d is not zero then we will output then we will output uh, zero. So if D is zero, we will output one. If D is one, we will output zero. So D, we will output zero, else we output one. D is zero, we will output one, and otherwise zero. Okay. So this is how you can create the the, how you can get the output from the Karnau map using two to one multiplexers. So let's try to submit it. And we can see this one was also correct. So we have finished these three problems. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.